I am in the process of generating my print preview. Uh, this is a, a word search uh, category. Uh, it's a puzzle that is a daily puzzle and uh, I will walk you through uh, what I have here. I will show you some of the designs and uh, now the process is almost completed. So yeah, the manuscript has been uploaded and now you will see the way the book will look like. So I'm checking everything. Uh, all my uh, uh, drawings or should be inside the red frame, which it is. Be very careful uh, for the uh, sign here. You see this uh, label. You ensure that uh, none of your images or pictures or even text is uh, hiding this uh, ISPN. It has to be on. So if you take a look here, uh, I'm having uh, different sizes. Uh, everything is uh, within the red mark frame. Uh, you have to ensure that you are picking uh, the right uh, dimensions uh, depending on uh, how many pages you are having. Um, uh, this is the back side. I'm going here. I'll show you the front cover of it. So it is a six word search daily puzzle. It's a challenge A because I'm having a revision, uh, another one uh, for uh, B and uh, I will be sharing also the design. Uh, I'm uploading it now uh, to the uh, Amazon website and usually they take about uh, 72 hours uh, to have it uh, approved and uh, it becomes after that uh, online where you can uh, purchase uh, the paper back uh, accordingly. So uh, as you see here, everything seems to be okay. Uh, I'm, I have a total of 232 pages uh, in this uh, uh, book. Uh, so as you see here, uh, it's, a, it's a puzzle, it's a word search. I have uh, different titles uh, such as like here you can see occupations, here you have uh, shapes, weather, uh, every, you can see the page uh, here, you see number of page, page 2, page 3, all the pages you can have here, I can pan up and down, I'm just uh, now in the uh, process of uh, uh, checking. Uh, so you can see here, you can toggle between a thumbnail view where you can see all the pages in one or you can see them in more detailed form as I am doing it right now. So you can see what we are having here. So uh, page two, page three and so on, so on. You keep going. Uh, you are in, what I'm doing is I'm just inspecting uh, to see uh, how my the layout of my pages is uh, uh, been uh, uh, corrected. I mean, it has to be correct. It has to be within um, those dotted lines. So I need to run uh, uh, a test to see everything is okay. As you see here, so page 36, 37, uh, a total of uh, uh, 232 pages. So my book uh, uh, has, uh, my paperback book is, as you see, it consists of uh, uh, printed cover. Uh, I have uh, uh, a certain number of puzzles and uh, the last few pages are uh, dedicated for solutions. So in case you had a hard time uh, finding uh, uh, the solution, uh, you can uh, uh, go to the last page and uh, uh, pick uh, which specific title we are looking for and uh, you can see the solution of that specific puzzle. It's very interesting booklet. It keeps your brain active. So for those who are already above 40s, 50s, 60s, that is a special exercise to keep the brain active. And the topics are very valuable. They are for available for all ages. So even teenagers can do that. It's a fun for every single age. There is no limitations on uh, who can perform that, whether an adult, whether you are in your early 20s, uh, early 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s. There is nothing uh, hard in it. All it take is only a, a little bit booster for your brain to ensure that uh, uh, the brain is functioning uh, correctly. 
as you see here every puzzle has on the top uh, here uh, as you see like for example hockey teams football teams uh, i have intentionally uh, picked up different categories to ensure that uh, the likes of every single age category is been matching so like even car models car manufacturers every puzzle has its own uh, different uh, uh, topic and the, the words will match that specific topic so tv shows for example i have fish names uh, TV manufacturers, cigar names, cigarette names for those who smoke, like shampoo names, perfume names, like you name it, like every single uh, topic is uh, uh, you pick up uh, the matching uh, words for it. Uh, roughly each puzzle has uh, 25 words in it and uh, some of them uh, doesn't have that many depending on the length of the name. If you see if it's uh, uh, too long then you will not have 25 but uh, my target is to have uh, 25 uh, names per puzzle uh, and you see here this is the most important uh, uh, thing as you see uh, I have uh, my uh, uh, solutions so a page of solutions so at the last uh, at the end of the last puzzle uh, you have solutions so every solution uh, uh, the setup that I have now is uh, four solutions per page uh, and uh, as you see, uh, for example, on the top here, it says occupations, it says solution. So every single puzzle has its title and it is a solution. So in case you missed a word, you couldn't find it, you can take a sneak peek upon, on that specific uh, puzzle and you will find where the locations are and you keep going so on and so on. So it's very interesting. It keeps, as I said, your brain active. Um, and uh, uh, as you see here, so uh, I, I have uh, about maybe 40 pages of solutions to ensure that uh, every single puzzle that was listed uh, on my uh, uh, form is having its own solution at the end of the booklet. So what I'm doing now, I'm in the process of uh, ensuring that all my formats are correct. All my printed areas are within the marked dotted or dashes. So uh, I'm just checking to ensure that everything is okay. And you can see, so page 220 to 21, so far so on. I'm having here a total of 232 pages. So I'm in the page 225, 227, 229, I'm almost there, 231. And this is the last page. So uh, now if everything is okay, all you have to do is now pick on the click on that uh, uh, button here where it says solution, I mean approve. I will be approving it now and then we continue to the process. So click approve. So everything is approved. Now you go to the next page. My, my ISBN is already assigned. Uh, I'm just double checking everything that I already preset. Everything is okay. I'm using a black and white interior. Uh, with uh, uh, white paper. Uh, uh, my size that I'm having for this specific puzzle is eight and a half by 11 inches. Uh, other puzzles, like for example, the daily monthly puzzles are having uh, uh, smaller dimensions. I think I picked uh, six inches by nine inches. Uh, the bleed setting, it has to be a no bleed and the, the paper cover finish is matte. So my, my uh, manuscript is uploaded successfully. You can see here uh, very carefully, you have to be sure that it's successfully uploaded. Uh, as you see here, it shows you that uh, uh, the cover was uploaded successfully. And this is the cover that I started my movie showing you about it. Uh, uh, you don't need to check here. Yes, my cover has a barcode because as you see it, everything was already marked accordingly. And if you mark it, if you check that box, then uh, uh, Amazon will pick the cover for you as is. So now everything is okay. Uh, you go to, you see here, uh, the good thing about it, uh, if you take a look at the bottom corner, uh, uh, Amazon is telling you how much is your printing cost. So you see the printing cost for that booklet is uh, uh, $4.94 per book. And then uh, since that book will be available on, for sale in different countries, like for example, in UK, in France, Spain, Italy, New Zealand, uh, so Japan, Canada, Australia. So it, tell you, it tells you also what is the printing cost per country. And all those numbers are here. You don't need to worry about it. This is an automated calculation that is done by Amazon and the Amazon itself uh, performs and does the 
uh, the calculations for you. So if everything is okay, you you transfer you you ensure that uh, the the information that is very important that is here is also correct. So I'm having a, a black and white interior with white paper. My bleed setting is a no bleed. Paper cover finish is made. The trim size is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. And as you see here, my page count is a 232 pages. So for a total of 232 pages of 8.5 by 11 inches, the printing cost, as you see here, is $4.94 per book. So everything is okay. If everything you like is here, all you have to do at the end, you press here, save and continue. So now uh, my uh, the uh, form application is saving it successfully and now we are in the process of continuing so I need it to be sold in all territories so I have worldwide rights now the pricing now it is the tricky thing here all you have to do is uh, first of all I will check the expanded distribution that will give me an extra 40% of reality uh, for those uh, paperback boxes you are talking about the uh, 60% profit margin. Now it's your choice to pick what is your selling price. Notice what Amazon telling is telling you here. So it says my minimum is $12.36, the maximum is $250. I have already, I know upfront that I have a previous version that was released. Uh, I mean, uh, not released to the sales yet, but released from my end as a, as a, a preparation. Uh, I think I put it for uh, $60 and that was nine daily word searches. This one is six. So I think maybe around the, uh, if I'll put it for maybe $48, 48 cents. I mean, you can put any price. You can even put $250. This doesn't mean that uh, Amazon will say no. As long as you are in that range, he will take that price. The question is, will anybody buy it or not? So uh, nobody will say, no, put that price or this, put this price. It's your call. You study the market and you see. So now I will start with uh, $48.48. In this case, it's a USD. dollars. Now, will anybody buy any of those books? I have no idea yet. So if somebody will buy it, my profit will be $24 a book. Again, you don't know. So I will study the market. I'll put now 48, 48. If I will see lots of people buying it, I might increase the price. If I will see nobody is buying it, I can wait a few months, maybe a few weeks, a month or two, study the market. If there's no sales at all, it means that my price was out of whack and it was too high, then I have to adjust it. You can only, always, always after your booklet is uh, available and as it passes all the review steps from Amazon, you can easily go to that uh, list price and modify it. I can bring it down from 48 48 to even $12 or $13 or $14. If I am happy with a $1 profit, which I'm not, then I can do any price as long as it is above the minimum which is mentioned here. I will give it a shot for now at 48 48 and uh, we'll see. By the way, I am uh, new to this program. I have not sold yet any book and uh, I'm just uh, getting uh, into that uh, thing. I read about it. Uh, I watched a lot of uh, YouTube movie clips and it seems to be uh, very uh, promising. It seems to be uh, like, how do you call it? It's not an easy money, but it is a passive income. What do we mean by passive income? Passive income means as you are sleeping, as you are having like spending time doing the stuff that you like, for example, on a vacation or even even not even at your computer, those books are already on the market, has been offered to all the viewers all over the world. If anyone who will be interested in any of the books that you have already been approved for and been put on the KDP soft, I mean um, application at Amazon, it can be purchased at any time by any person in any country without your involvement at all. By the end of the day, if anything is being sold, Amazon will send you the reality. I think the payment is every two months, which means that whatever you accumulate, Amazon keeps this money for itself for uh, about two months to ensure that nothing will be returned and stuff like that. And after the end of the second month, Amazon will start paying you what you have earned two months ago. 
As I said, I'm, I'm new, I'm just starting, I haven't installed anything, but uh, uh, wish me luck and I'm just uh, sharing with you my experience with this uh, uh, passive income uh, that uh, I read about it a lot uh, and I see a lot of movie clips on YouTube. Uh, as you see as well, I have uh, advertised also my booklets on uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel as well as uh, I'm advertising it on my blogger. So all you have to do is just uh, uh, click and uh, you will, uh, I will show you later on the blogger page that I have for that specific uh, thing. So the good thing in, about it, you see here, so Amazon.com in the States. So this is my selling price. I enter only my selling price. And as you see, it automatically transfers it into different currencies based on the countries. So it's a pound, it's euros here, it's a uh, uh, every single country has its own, like Japan is a yen, so it will transfer it by itself automatically and as the profit margin accordingly. If anybody from this, any of this country, Australia or Japan or Canada buys it, that amount of money is uh, uh, deposited into your account at a cert at whenever uh, the payments is uh, scheduled for payment by the Amazon website. So after you put uh, uh, the list price that you are preferring to have, all you have to do is uh, you go to the uh, uh, final stage, which is here on the yellow, publish your paperback book. As soon as you press on that, which I'm doing it now, so it is saving. And after the saving is done, my hard work from my end is completed. And as you see here, uh, Amazon has uh, sent you this confirmation uh, where it clearly states that the six word search daily puzzle challenge A that is made by me, my name, and this is the selling price. Uh, this uh, picture here, as you see, will show the front page of the uh, paperback and you see here the paperback has been submitted. So it is submitted now for review. So you see here, your book will be reviewed to ensure it meets the KDB's guidelines. You will receive an email when review is complete. If it passes the review, it can take up to 72 hours before your book becomes available on Amazon. Usually, usually it is within 72 hours for my previous books. I have noticed that like within three days, my book is already either blocked or rejected or approved. 95% of my books so far have been accepted. Uh, it is uh, uh, my third week now. I haven't sold any book yet, but usually whatever you, you watch a clip or you read about it, it takes a few weeks, even a few months before you start selling the book uh, and any of your books. And then again, depends on your luck. If you are lucky, the concept will keep going. So here, uh, I have, as I said, it is a paperback. So I'm setting, I'm fine. I don't want yet to do any ebook now. Usually, usually whenever a, a user is, you, is uh, uh, requesting to add, like to do some uh, scratches on it, it will not be accepted as an ebook. So puzzles are not valid for ebooks. It is only for a paperback. I have other books that are uh, ebooks. I will share them with you during my uh, stream today so you can see what we are talking about. So I can close it. And now let's see. You see here, I have different, I have different uh, ones. I have, for example, uh, Unfield Romance that was approved today. And you see it is live. Your title is live in the Kindle store and is available for purchase. So here you will have a list of all the books that you have already made showing the drawings, the pictures, the images, the state of the book, the pricing. Let's say, for example, the one I had, uh, I have, you see, it will tell you also if something is in review. Let's say, for example, I want to see how many books I have blocked. I have only one, which is the ebook, which is a puzzle, and it is blocked because puzzles cannot be done as ebooks. It's only paperback. Therefore, my paperback is live but my ebook is blocked. Let's say go for, for example for life. That will be a list of all the books that you have already live. Now going back to the in review, for example, publishing, if anything is been 
already skipped the in review stage so it will it will be remaining in the publishing until a certain time passes and then it will becomes live so in review for now i'm currently having uh, the one that we just did now the six word search daily puzzle challenge dash a i will be with you again doing the challenge dash b so you can see how it looks like again from the scratch i will show you later on and uh, then you will see the other ones that were in review so i have uh, uh, i have a romance book series here that is in review i have a nine word search daily puzzle challenge this is a huge one it, it, it's about uh, how many i have for this one a total of 348 pages so it is a, a, a big a big book it has about uh, 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 nine so nine puzzles a day multiplied by 31 days that will tell you how many puzzles this book has uh, here a three word uh, uh, search daily puzzle challenge i have here for those who like uh, to do uh, uh, on monthly basis they don't like to buy for example one book for a year they buy it for per month so i have uh, a challenge for you that you can make or you can force yourself to make three word search daily puzzles a day so by the end of the month that booklet will be completed this one is still in review i hope tomorrow i will have it ready so you see you will see the price that i listed again i will study the market if my price was too low i will increase it if the price was too high i will decrease it until i find an average price where i can start selling nothing is being sold yet as i said earlier so that is uh, my current state of in reviews so let me uh, walk you through uh, the process of creating completely from the scratch a brand a new one. So we go to create and now as I said we just finished the, the dash A. I still have dash B to do for today. So you go to create, you press on create. I know that I'm creating a, not an ebook, I'm creating a paperback. So you create paperback. Now here you decide what is your book title. My book title, I have it in, this is challenge B, but I'm working with challenge B. So I know that my book title will be here. Six word search daily puzzle challenge B. The one we just did was challenge A, so I'm copying the name. And then I'll go to here and I'll put the name as a book title. Subtitle, I'll leave it empty. I don't have any series, therefore I'm not going to add any series. Edition number, I don't have any. I already uh, uh, put dash A dash B as an optional series number. The author is my name. I'm putting it here. Now you have to put a description. Uh, I have already prepared my description, which is not this one. My description is here. Uh, for the six puzzle B, it's here. <clears throat> so I'm copying it and we go to here I'll be pasting it oops sorry I didn't copy it maybe so go back to here copy and you paste okay so uh, introducing the ultimate brain teasing the light this is a six word search daily puzzle challenge usually whatever words that you think they are very appealing and you want the, the client to see i mean the, the reader to see them so you transfer them into bold so dive into the captivating world of word searches with this meticulously crafted collection boasting a whopping of 186 puzzles so this series has a 186 puzzles it has over 4500 unique words so those are the critical words that i would like uh, i would like the the reader to read them this is the first thing that the reader will read before he decides to buy my booklet or not very important thing also it is the size of the paper in this case it is eight and a half inches by 11 inches my other boxes my other books are uh, i think six by nine but this one i decide to go with a bigger one because I needed to be sure that I have uh, uh, for adult people sometimes they have vision issues so I wanted to ensure that my page size is big so as I said we have 186 puzzles 4500 unique words the paper size is eight and a half inches by 11 
and uh, I'm just uh, so this way they can read it and they can see what they have this portion the description has to be in HTML code so all you have to just click on source and it will transfer it automatically to the HTML code so after that you say I own the copyright which I do it uh, doesn't have any expert images it doesn't now here uh, I choose categories in this specific case it's a puzzle so I know where is it located it's in the entertainment uh, I know it's a it's a puzzles and games my specific case here it's word search word games and puzzles you, have, you can click up to three categories so I have them filled all now keywords the very interesting part of this is the keywords you have to pick the correct keywords for your um, so sometimes it is keyword is a, a, that can be highlighting your unique traits these keyboards can be short short phrases so up to 50 characters so what I do is uh, I can sometimes copy from here and uh, whatever I had in my headline some lines I can just copy them if you have any any keywords that you have in your mind you can also put them there I know that I try always to put my most important keywords and that's first thing that the reader is going to see therefore I'm utilizing some of those lines as keyword phrases for my booklet uh, let's say for example here uh, grab your pencil sharpen your focus and embark on a word such as pencil so this is one of the things that I like to have all the time so it is a pencil thing so you don't need to use your pen so that will allow you to erase a mistake rather than lose a paper so here I say I still have you have about seven keywords it's optional as you see here the, your keywords are optional so there's no there's nobody is forcing you to make keywords you can do it or you can bypass it I can still save my, my work will continue moving forward without even having them so it's all this is very important for me that I know I need to ensure that the reader knows that I am for all ages therefore I want to write it down here let's say for example it is an endless hours of entertainment like all the stuff that is user friendly that is like very like you want it to be shown you try to put it there and here I need to show that it is about 4500 words as again it's up to you it's it's optional you can write it you can miss it it's up to you so we are done now with the keywords now everything is okay here you go save and continue now the process of saving is done so the first stage is done now I'm assigning a free key band for myself for a paperback content you can assign it automatically if you are doing a, an e an ebook you, there is no need for any booklet for any ASBN it's a black and white it's not six by nine you have to change the dimension here so my paper size is eight and a half by eleven it is no bleed it is made now you manu upload your manuscript I have it ready already it's here it has your manuscript for the paper box has to be in PDF format so you have to ensure that it is in the right format otherwise uh, Amazon will not take it so it has to be in PDF and uh, when we are going into our uh, uh, cover also it has to be in a PDF uh, format uh, I will walk you through the process of uh, having my cover completely designed it's already made I will upload it in a PDF format so as the system is uploading now it will take some time as I said it's a big uh, uh, file it's about 85 megabyte I think because we have uh, uh, about uh, in this uh, profile I'm having uh, uh, for version B I have 233 pages so imagine like it's about 85 megabyte total it takes some time to upload 
And when the uploading is made of the manuscript, then we move to the next stage, which is the cover. I have already uh, the, the prepared up front uh, my uh, uh, cover work and I saved everything in PDF form so I will have it uploaded. Later on, um, when we are done with this stage, I can quickly go with you, show you one of my stages of pre preparing my cover. But it's your call to do whatever you think is right for your situation. So the upload of manuscript is completed. Uh, you have two options. You have either launch a cover creator, which is offered for free by uh, Amazon, or you can upload your cover yourself. But be careful, it has to be a print-ready PDF only. It's not a regular PDF, it has to be a print-ready PDF. This is the only format that they accept, which I have it already saved, so I click on it. And I know what is the format. I am in section B, and it is here. So six words, search daily puzzle challenge B. And you can see it here. So this is my PDF work. So I will open it and now it will take some time to uh, upload. And then usually, usually when you, you upload the, uh, uh, the, the cover, uh, Amazon does its own uh, 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 testing. So the cover is saved, but still it says processing your file. It takes some time for Amazon, depending on the size of the file, it has to run a lot of stages of testing to ensure that everything is within the needed margins of those red dash lines and stuff like that. So as we, we are waiting a little bit, we'll give some time. While we are waiting, I can show you later on. Uh, one of the questions that you will be asked at the, uh, is here, did you use any AI tools? So if you did, you say yes. If you didn't, you say no. Uh, uh, there's a list of choices here. You can pick anyone. So some sections with minimal or no editing, for example, you have other options. It will tell you if you say yes, you have to say which uh, software you used for that uh, specific I think it says, for example, GPT, or if you have any other things. If for, for images, if you use any software, you can say yes. If translations, you can say yes. If you didn't, you say no, as long as you are not using any copyright. So be careful that uh, Amazon is very critical and your account can be easily blocked and canceled if they will notice that you are somehow playing games with them. If you want to lose your account, just play a few games and that's it you will never come back to Amazon. So be careful. So whenever this one is done, you see a cover uploaded successfully. The processing is still going on, but during that uh, processing uh, timing, I can still go into the launch viewer here and uh, perform the, view, the launch view. So let's double check and see if all my images are uh, within uh, the frame, uh, the red frame. As long as your images are within the red frame, you are okay. Any image, which will be, or, or even text, which will be out of that uh, red hatched area. That means that uh, the, that portion will be not included in the booklet and you will lose it. Sometimes uh, even Amazon will not allow you to continue or you will just have a, a portion of your images that are missing, which it is not good for your book cover. It will not be sold properly, right? So uh, this is very critical uh, quality check. And as you see here, the cover has been uh, 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 reviewed for quality issues by Amazon itself. There's a lot of steps of reviewing. So they will start checking your manuscript, see if everything is okay. If there, there's no, or no quality issues and that, then they will go to the cover, they will go to the back ones. So ensure that everything is uh, at the same, uh, on the same level of uh, uh, being the right is your trim size is very critical because there is a calculator on uh, uh, amazon website on the kdb website depending on how many pages you have you have to pick the right uh, uh, thickness of the cover page that you are going to design so based on the number of pages you enter that number in the calculator 
and that calculator will calculate what is the total height and what is the total width of your book cover and then you start adding the pictures or the images or the fonts or whatever text you want to add after you pick correctly the right size of your cover so now we give it some it takes like a few minutes sometimes depends on the size of the file uh, of the manuscript file as well as of the cover sometimes it's within seconds and everything will be done it, if the size is big it takes a few minutes so now they are checking the margins and the cutter size this is very important any image or any text that is going out of the red rectangle that I will show you afterwards is oh, not acceptable let me check something I think I forgot to remove the yeah so this is this is the this is the image now we are checking this is image B uh, as we are working that uh, the system while he is it is checking it so as you see here six word search daily puzzle this is challenge B so that is the file there is no blue mark here so as you see it has to be completely no images no text are covering any of the stuff that you have in the frame this is the total image so this is the file that Amazon is currently checking for me let's go back to the Amazon site and you see the checking is still going on so as you see it is it is a, a, a very detailed uh, file uh, the images I think uh, sometimes portion uh, of the sales depends on how good is your book designed so sometimes people buy the cover before they start reading so if the book cover is nice and attracting that will be a plus for your purchasing habit if the book cover is not that good if you might be writing in gold font inside but you failed the first test so the first appeal is your book cover try to ensure that all the time and every single time any book you design any book you have ensure that the cover is one of the best things that you can get to ensure that Lots of people are liking it. Lots of people are loving it. So it's it's up to the person. As you see here, we have like one big image. I have uh, you can zoom and scale down uh, different images here. It is very important to ensure that uh, uh, the image is uh, has no background because if the background is there, it will not be easily transmitted. So it has to that it is a transparent background at that stage to ensure that it is there available so uh, as i said here six word search daily puzzle challenge b is the book that we are trying to upload now let's see where are we standing so the generating is still checking so now it is checking the print preview as soon as that uh, 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 box here you see that where it says launch preview becomes yellow it means that the check is almost completed and I can uh, visually see what we have already uh, produced uh, and uh, and then you review it finally and yourself and if you are okay with that you say accept and then the process will keep going so uh, I'm waiting for it I think another, another minute or so and as soon as this one is completed we can run the previewer and we will see the cover page and we will see as well uh, uh, these uh, uh, 232 pages where I have uh, the puzzles are listed there and uh, if everything goes inside the, the hashed and dashed area then everything is okay you say accept and we keep going so another maybe a minute or so the print preview will finish generating we launch the previewer and uh, we will be available I hope you are enjoying uh, I'm trying to see I'm really sorry I couldn't uh, just answer some of your uh, uh, questions yet but uh, uh, I promise next time I'm performing my uh, live view I will be more uh, resilient because I'm trying to explain on the, the on the screen as uh, well uh, my my phone is shooting that uh, live stream so it's a little bit difficult for me but uh, feel free to 
uh, to add me, to follow me, uh, I will have uh, lots of uh, uh, similar uh, clips released in the coming near future. Uh, check my, there is a link on my profile uh, to my Amazon store. I have a lot of uh, wish lists where you can get the best sellers on Amazon, where you can get the best available deals, the hot sale. So as well as I have a list as well of all my Kindle ebooks. Uh, listed on that uh, website as well. So if you go to my bio um, page on my main TikTok, you will see the my Amazon online store. Feel free to check anything you like and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Follow me. I have a YouTube channel. Follow my YouTube channel as well. Uh, subscribe to it to be ensure that uh, to ensure that you are always among the first people to see what is going on. And uh, I will try to keep you updated as much as possible. We are almost there. So now it's processing the book cover and the manuscript uh, because it needs to generate the print ready file. As you see here, it requires a number of steps and can take several minutes. Sometimes it's seconds, sometimes it minutes, it's all depending on the size of the book that you have. While it's doing this, uh, feel free. Uh, this is a, a software that I am using here. Uh, it is the, I use it to design. I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I use it uh, to design different mechanical parts uh, for my home business. Uh, and today I was using it to design uh, that uh, part uh, that we, we just saw, as you see here. So it says here a daily puzzle. And I'm having here in the middle a six word search. And here you have uh, the word challenge. So it's a daily puzzle challenge, six word search daily puzzle challenge. And it's a 3D, I can show you here. So it's a 3D, sorry, so this here, three, four. I'm just using all, all the views that you have. So it is, it is very useful software but uh, yes there's no need to the, to use that specific software i mean you can use uh, uh, any graphic design software that you have that you feel comfortable with creating your images as long as the image is created in a good form and within the right in the right format of gp gpeg or pdf or uh, 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 any other formats that uh, the the system is asking them to have it made and then uh, uh, you can use it so not necessarily that uh, software yeah, let's go back and see uh, this is uh, I use uh, some I use the uh, Photoshop to fine-tune my uh, <coughs> my images let's go back and see where are we standing at so it's almost there so the last stage will be on on the, on this uh, uh, set up thing is uh, when you approve you double check uh, the previewer to ensure that all the details are within the needed frames and if everything is okay yeah so as soon as it becomes saving it means that the software is ready and i can start viewing my product let me set up my view my zoom again so now the first thing you will see here is it uh, is your page so this is the cover and uh, uh, so the front the front cover is here on this side this is the front cover and that is the back cover and you see here the ISBN, so therefore you have to be sure that there is nothing hiding it. So there is no image uh, on top of that line. There is no uh, font covering that line to ensure that uh, the ISBN is scannable at the store when they will set it. So let's go uh, quickly and do the checkup. So I'm, I'm just checking to see if any of my images or text lines are stepping on the red line. So as I see here, my text is okay. Images is okay is okay this one is okay fine everything is inside the red frame you see those two margin lines this is the thickness of your box so when, when those two sides are closed the thickness all your papers are here so you shouldn't have anything inside that white range and uh, here so this is fine this is okay okay the major image is okay also i can see it so everything seems to be okay nothing is stepping on the red line I'm happy with the way the design is made. The cover is done correctly. Now we'll go and quickly check the pages inside. So this is a list of the page. So this is the first puzzle. 
the second puzzles as you see here we have the page on the bottom I have the page listed on the bottom and the, uh, the title of the the title of the uh, puzzle is there as well every puzzle has its own title so I'm happy so far everything is it has everything has to be within the dashed area which it is now so I need to go through every single page I'm, I'm just going through them quickly uh, and you uh, see here a total I have uh, 233 pages uh, in the revision B revision A it had 232 pages this one has the one page extra and uh, we go through quickly everything is okay as you see the size of the puzzle decreases or increases by itself depending on how many uh, words we are having inside so so far so good everything is inside nothing is going outside I'm quickly doing it so we don't waste your time uh, almost 100 pages confirmed okay everything is okay so far so another 100 pages to go quickly so 147 49 53 okay so now we come back to the funny stuff uh, here if somebody is having hard time finding a solution all you have to do is just open that uh, the last few pages and every single puzzle it has its own solution so you see the puzzle name for example weather and this is a solution and it will show you every single word has it's been solved as again every single puzzle so if we have uh, for example 100 puzzles you should have 100 solutions solutions showing the answers as you see here every solution is there i mean they are different different configurations depending on the the type of some of them are vertical some of them are mixed 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 a match of mixed uh, layouts as long as it's done and uh, the user has a, 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 a paper trace where he can check the solution we should be okay so now everything is okay I'm 232 pages I'm happy with the way it is now you have to press the bottom here where it says approve here at the edge and I'm pressing now approve I'm happy with the way it looks like so let me press it so now now we go to the next stage so the IBN was made as you see here so paper back details are complete paper back content is complete now we need to have the rights and the pricing and to have it set up so IBN is there the black white and double checking again our sizes I'm having 8.5 by 11 no bleed matte the manuscript is successfully uploaded you have to be sure that this one is correct here this is the page where you decided to make your own so either you can use their own their their own set preset pages for you or you can design your own the only way to make you is stand away and stand on a different side from others is by creating your own covers then you are not repeating what is already in the booklet here is very important if it's generated now everything is okay now as you see here we go to the interesting part which is the pricing as you see here based on the calculations the price is 4.94 so this is the cost sorry not the price this is the printing cost so almost five dollars to print those 232 pages and uh, this is us dollars so almost five dollars to print those pages now you have to add your own profit margin and double check that side here where you have what is uh, uh, the setup of uh, the configuration configuration of your book so it is black and white interior no bleed matte 8.5 by 11 and the page count is 232 so when you are done with this check up now you can easily click here save and continue and uh, your job will be saved and now uh, we are ready to continue so where i'm going to sell it I want to sell it worldwide which means that any country where we have the right for to use Amazon it has the right to sell 
and the more exposure your book have, the more profit chances are yours. This doesn't mean that I'm, I'm putting all the countries, I mean all territories worldwide. This doesn't mean that I, I will start selling everything right away. It might take a year to sell. It might take forever to sell even a single book or you might tell selling the next day. It all depends on your luck and on the quality of the cover and of the book. Uh, and now is the thing to decide what price we use. Since the uh, revision A and revision B are of the same setup, I'm going to keep the same price that I put already. So it was $48.48. 48, $48 Again, I don't know. Is it too high? Is it too low? If it's too high, if I will wait another like if a month or two, if there's none of the box is being sold, it means that my price was out of work. Then I have to bring it down. If it is too low, then you will see if lots of people are buying it. So either the book is too good and then it's time for you to start boosting your price or the price is too high for the quality of the book and you start lowering down your price. It's it's a, it's a market study that will dictate what is your selling price will be. So if you sell it at 4848, 48, you are having 60% profit margin. So for every book that is being sold, I will be making $24 if it will be sold. And again, the time to come, the few months to come will dictate if the price is correct or not. So and every again, as I said earlier, every single country's currency will be calculated automatically by Amazon. So you don't need to worry about the currency conversion. It's done automatically for you. So if your book is by somehow a client found it in Japan and he liked it, this is the price that he is going to pay for it. 7,500. And this is your profit margin. And then regardless of the, of the currency of being sold at the end, uh, when you start getting your earnings, Amazon will convert everything to the currency that you decided to open your account for. So if your account is open in US currency, then all this amount will be transferred into US. If Canadian or any other country or Australian dollars, it all depends on your currency of your account. So now I'm okay and I need to publish my paper book, my paper back book. So if you click publish your paper back book, <laughs> And then the software is saving it. Actually, not the software. The KDB website on Amazon is saving it. And as you see here, you get this message from Amazon where it says it tells you that a six-word search daily puzzle challenge revision B is has been submitted. The selling price is forty-eight forty-eight US dollars. Your book will be reviewed to ensure it meets the KDB's guidelines you will receive an email when review is complete. So if they are okay with the way it looks like, then everything will be fine. If they are not, they will say the book is blocked or something is wrong. We are not going to, and you have to abide with the rules. So either you fix what is a problem and you submit again, or if you are done with fixing and you can't fix, you say, okay, that book is garbage and you start working on another book or you give up too easily. So it's up to you. For now, I'm ha I have been working on this new line of business for about three weeks now. I have not sold anything, but I'm still, as I said, learning. And I'm still trying to create myself a profile where we can solve. If it will work, it work. If not, will not. So now we go to the state so we can see here, so blocked, nothing, it's only the same one that we had before. Publishing, if anything is passing the review stage, you will see it here. So it will be listed here as a book that is being published. Within a few hours, it will be published. If it is in review, which is, I have, some of them are in review. So the one that we just created now, which is this one, is in review. The one we created at the start of the movie was this one, is still in review. The one I created the, uh, this morning, it was a, a romance uh, knee, uh, book. It is in review. I have the Kindle ebook live. I decided today to make it as a paperback. So I'm waiting for them to approve it. Uh, I created yesterday uh, this uh, uh, a nine word search daily puzzle. This is the biggest puzzle I have created. It's almost uh, for almost 10 months, like almost a year. You can buy only one book, but you look at the price. It's, it's, 
is 67 almost 68 dollars uh, it must not been approved yet it's in review but again it all depends on the market will anybody like it or not i don't know so uh, this is my uh, the stay what i did was showing you quickly how easy is it to create a paperback and to submit it uh, this is the blogger uh, that i have created for for those what i did is uh, as you see i created a, uh, i have a blogger uh, it's uh, youtubemovieclips.com and uh, uh, this is the, the page that i have for this specific one so it's daily puzzle solving it's 2024 editions i have different uh, uh, different uh, uh, sections different puzzles i made puzzles of per monthly basis i made puzzles for three months basis i made puzzles for six months basis which we just showed today and uh, so if it's a puzzle for per, a monthly puzzle it means that you will see only 31 puzzles per book so if you have a book you will see 31 pages showing 31 puzzles plus the solutions uh, uh, these are so this one if you take a look for example here may so this is the puzzle that is for me so if you click on the picture that will take you directly to my amazon to daily puzzle solving it is the paperback and it will tell you the price so the april 14 was my release date and the, if you take a look here it will show you what is the selling price for that paperback it is nine dollars like 8.99 so it is a a book which has in it 31 puzzles and that book is for may 2024 so all you have to do is just click buy and that's it the book will be yours <laughs> yeah so we go back i don't need this one again each one of them has has a, a certain picture so every image is characterizing a month so in this case this image is for june this image is for july this one is uh, uh, for august so if you click on it on the picture or if you click on the title this is for september let's say click on this picture right away it will take you to my uh, uh, selling price to my uh, uh, kindle ebook i mean paperback book on amazon website and uh, i mentioned earlier that i have uh, uh, I mentioned earlier that I have a, a store on Amazon. Let me just quickly go show you my storefront. So this is this is my storefront. And this is my storefront on Amazon, and uh, this is the, uh, the link that you see uh, on my uh, profile at uh, on TikTok. It will take you directly uh, to that uh, uh, website, uh, which is my online Amazon shop. So as you see here, uh, if you have if you go down. Uh, you can see uh, I have idea lists. Idea lists are very interesting because it covers different, uh, let's say, for example, uh, it, uh, different uh, uh, things. Like, for example, you have you are looking for a hoverbound electric wheelchair, for example. You click on it, and as soon as you click on it, that will bring you up to all the wheelchairs that I have, like, as, 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 uh, so it will tell you the price. It will show you even even if something if one of them has a, a detail if a bestseller or it has a discount you see for example this one it was twenty two hundred now it's for like only two thousand dollars so you will see a lot of of details and listing and it's just a fingertip away all you have to just click on the link and it all will become uh, yours so uh, now what we'll do is uh, uh, we'll have here for example let's say you want to go citizen men's sport watches you click and you will see again those watches here every watch will will see you click on it it has a price it has discount here it was two thousand two hundred dollars now it's about 188 dollars uh, you have different uh, pricing and uh, different uh, uh, i have different uh, uh, prices different options it will show you the best sellers it will show you even if you are a prime user it will show you what is the special price for the prime users so it's very very interesting uh, uh, if I, I highly recommend that you keep my in my store in your favorites because you will definitely find something that is very helpful uh, and as you see here we have different i have all types of uh, of uh, wish lists all you have to just for example here if you are looking for thermal imaging rifle scope you click on that similar and you will have all of them listed here 
and again the pricing the releases the discounts different types is very easy and you always get uh, special discounts and things if you are looking for videos so here if you take a look so here is idea list if you want to see some videos video clips so i created already video clips let's say let's watch quickly one of them for example let's say this one so i created also a video clip about that specific um, a romance book that I have created. I have about 20 releases of romance books, but also I have my own channel on, on YouTube. This is my channel on YouTube. And let's say here I have almost 3000 subscribers. Feel free also to join. And as you see here, this is my ranking for views, average percentage viewed. It's here. So and let's say, for example, today we, we created the, uh, a movie clip, let's say the contest we created today. Again, so the Romans, all types of styles. You can feel free to look at the page. And, uh, and let me see. that. This is my channel. This is how it will look like. Here I'm just advertising a, a, a TV set, I think, if I'm correctly. From Amazon also, yeah, the LG. So, the online store that I have on Amazon is listed here. So, everything is linked together. I tried and all, all my stuff can be seen is also here. So again, uh, 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 feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe to... I actually created also uh some of the just give me one second somebody is yeah so uh let me see here so again this is this is the one that we created the, uh, for today I can show you another one that I created like uh, uh, yesterday, I think. That was a uh, great one for the nine nine word search. That was yesterday. It is a similar design, but it has like everyone has different. I tend not to repeat too much, but so everyone has its own different. As you see, this uh, uh, rendering features are there, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, I'm very happy with the way the look it is. It has 3D. It's a model space, so I can I can take any view. I can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, uh, you can look at the details, how how detailed they are, uh, and even here, look, it's it's even it shows you the it's like a, a a grass. See the the grass here. It's a grass on a floor, so it's it's very detailed. You can do a lot of uh, uh, good stuff with it. Uh, uh, again, every every title of my book has its own. Uh, let me show you that I have titles. For example, like romance. I was doing a romance book this morning, last night. So this is uh, this is the, the 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 logo that I have for my uh, uh, romance series number thirteen. So it's here again. It's it's a three D. And when you render it, it becomes way, way better than it is now. So I think uh, that will be a good start for you today. Uh, we covered uh, lots of different... Uh, and, and the good thing is uh, about uh, that uh, uh, KDP. Let's say these are the ones that I have. If you want, if you are not sure, this is my, my online shopping store on Amazon. Uh, if you want to see like if you made any any sales or not, all you have to do is just uh, uh, go here and show you. You click see on the top here you have report. So if you go to the, if you click on the bookshelf, that will take you directly to your book where it shows you what is the state of every single book. And if you want to see the reports, if you sold anything or not, you click on reports and that will tell you the, the selling. So far I have zero. So I have no realities, I have no orders. I just started like maybe two or three weeks ago and uh, I'm just starting, the ball is rolling and we'll see how things will go. So again, it all depends on our luck. 
So I hope you enjoyed the, today's uh, live stream and uh, feel free uh, to subscribe uh, and uh, uh, to my channel to subscribe to my blogger to subscribe and to visit my uh, amazon store for definitely best sellers and uh, hot sales and hot deals and uh, uh, see you on the next one have a nice evening and goodbye